Another set of identities that we're going to be able to explore are called power reducing identities. And again, these are derived from previous identities and matching them and so forth. But what's unique about these is they take a, a trigonomic function that has a power greater than one and we're able to reduce it, reduce the power to a power that's only one. So let's look at one as an example of, of what we might see as we practice these. So let's do something kind of nasty here. Let's look at the cosine um, to the fourth, cosine of x to the fourth. So let's reduce that down such that my final result has no powers greater than one. With that, it looks like I can use the cosine uh, power reducing formula, which says that I can rewrite this as, um, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do cosine squared of x all squared. That's the same thing. Now I can go ahead and use the cosine squared, which tells me that it's one plus cosine of two theta all over two, all squared. All right, so to begin with, I had a cosine to the fourth of x. I rewrote that as cosine squared of x squared. From there, I used my power reducing formula. Now I have to remember how do I distribute that, that power of two all the way through. So the top is a foil, so that's a one plus a two cosine um, two theta plus a cosine squared of two theta all over a four. All right, you guys with me all right on that one? And then from there, might be helpful to, yeah. Ultimately, it looks like what I have right here is another opportunity to go ahead and have some fun. So maybe right now, I'm going to, distribute this four all the way across. So I'll have a one fourth plus two over four is a one half plus a cosine two theta all over a two plus the fun all over a four. Don't know if I needed to do that, but it was something I could do. Cosine squared of two theta, I can use this idea again where Oh, I guess I changed from x's to thetas in this process, didn't I? Sorry about that, guys. Let's just pretend that it's the same variable. So let's go ahead and start with theta then. So I'll just go ahead and rewrite those as thetas. Just a variable, change variables. Cosine squared of theta. So I, ha I still have the one fourth. Cosine squared of theta becomes a one plus a cosine of two times my theta. My theta in this case is a two theta. So it's two times a two theta all over a four. Oh, oops, sorry, all over a two, all over a four. All right, so what I have here, let's figure out what color I wanna do it for you guys. Notice that that right here is the same thing as this right there. Those are the same. That's just using the power reducing formula cosine. Then from there, um, I guess I can do some work. So one over four plus cosine of two theta, used to be an X, two um, plus flip that over. So that's over an eight. So that becomes a one plus a cosine of four theta, two times two is four, four theta all over an eight. And then to have them all over their nice own little fractions, um, that becomes one fourth plus cosine two theta over a two plus one eighth plus a cosine of four theta all over an eight. And I guess I could add the one fourth and the one eighth together. That makes it a what a three eighth. Three eighths plus 
cosine 2 theta all over 2 plus cosine 4 theta all over an 8. And I met my goal. My goal was to rewrite cosine of 4x, which I changed to theta halfway through. So the cosine of uh, the fourth Cosine to the fourth of theta to rewrite that into a final statement that has no powers greater than one. And there we have it.